After a well-deserved break, the drivers were back in action on Monday with stage number 8 in this 2012 Dakar. Up for grabs today is a 477km long stage in Chile from Copiapo to Antofagasta. Along the way, the contestants will face a fesh fest zone with extremely fine sand comparable to flour. In the motorbike's overall standings, Serial Depre is in the lead, but has to be wary of rival Mark Coma, who trails under eight minutes behind. Meanwhile, another Frenchman is ahead of the pack in the car category, with Stéphane Petterancel on board his Mini Countryman. The motorbikes are the first ones to leave the bivouac on Monday, without Chileco Lopez, the Chilean having been forced to retire on Saturday. First one on the road, Mark Coma makes a navigational mistake and is found trailing amid a drift of Cyril Depre. But the turning point in this stage takes place after 11 kilometers. The Spaniard manages to avoid a muddy Rio, while Depre and Paolo Gonzalez are left stranded. Both men remain stuck for a while and will need more than 10 minutes to get back on the road. In the meantime, Mark Coma makes the most of his rival's misfortunes and storms ahead to put the stage win beyond doubt. In the end, the title holder claims the win in Antofagasta, his 20th stage win on the Dakar. Portugal's Ruben Farrier and Spain's Joan Barreda Bort finish in second and third respectively. So all in all, a great day for Coma. Finishing the stage 17 minutes and 20 seconds ahead of Depre means the Spaniard takes top spot in the overall standings, with Depre trailing over nine minutes behind. Helder Rodriguez from Portugal is now third. In the car category, Nasser, al Atiyah and Robbie Gordon on board their Hummers are the first ones to take off. But the Qatari suffers yet another setback in this Dakar as he is forced to pull over to retrieve a fallen spare tyre. He manages to get going again, but 50 kilometres later the same problem occurs and he is forced to stop again. In the end, the 2011 champion has to settle for fifth place in Antofagasta. Meanwhile, his teammate Robbie Gordon is enjoying a much more pleasant day on the road. The American strolls past the first checkpoint in the lead, 25 seconds ahead of Christoph Holofczyk. Gordon is still in the lead after checkpoint number two, with Nanny Roma looming 55 seconds adrift. But despite his excellent start, Gordon finally has to settle for second place in Antofagasta, only five seconds adrift of the stage winner. A mini driver, and not the one you could expect. Indeed, Stefan Petteransel didn't take any risks on Monday, in order to protect his lead in the overall standings. Fourth at the end of the stage, the Frenchman is still on top of the Dakar. Second after checkpoint number one, Christoph Holofczyk lost precious time in the latest stage of the race and had to settle for third place, with a time of 4 hours 27 minutes and 48 seconds. In the end, the stage win was claimed by Nani Roma. The Spaniard was impeccable in the final segment of the stage and pipped Gordon to the win in the final kilometres. Now fourth in the overall standings, only 12 minutes and 27 seconds adrift of Petteranzel, the mini driver is still in contention for the final win.